My name is Henry, and I'm the other 99%. I lived for years just three blocks from this park. I worked in this neighborhood, I shopped at these local stores, I'm a New Yorker, and I'm an American citizen. 14 days ago, on a Saturday afternoon, I heard people cheering in the street. I walked to this park, and I found over 1,000 people here. That night I stood with them and I listened to the first General Assembly. I felt proud to be an American. I left thinking I would not hear anything else about this group. Today is day 14 of the peaceful occupation of Zuccotti Park. This is just a way to start a conversation that's not being discussed. There's a discussion happening in the media and in Washington. It's a very narrow discussion and words like wealth and power and equity are never really discussed. And so this is a way to maybe force that conversation. And for me, I'm here because I'm a public school teacher and um, I work in a very underserved population of kids, you know, and we're constantly told we need to do more with less and it's crazy it's absolutely crazy I guess I just like to see a world where uh, basic needs are met and people have dignity and I don't think there's necessarily one way that's done I think we were closer to that 20 years ago than we are now I think that the big the, the very big corporations with a lot of money should pay their taxes because they have so much money well, my main focus, my main demand really, is to increase taxes on the very wealthy people in this country. Um, I think that would alleviate a lot of the austerity measures that are happening right now. And I'm, I'm honestly really incensed and looking mad as hell that wealthy people are getting wealthier and wealthier. Um, poor people and working people are getting poorer and poorer. And it's just an imbalance of justice. I used to work on Wall Street. But the people have power, and they have a right to come out and say what they think about Wall Street or Washington, D.C., Republican Party, Democratic Party. Everybody has a right, just like we encourage the rights of the people in the Arab countries to have their so-called Arab Spring. These people are having their, uh, Octo their October, uh, late September, October moment. And it's great. I just want a reaction from um, whether it's the media or other people living around New York, whatever it is, just for people to start talking about this and, you know, come out here and even just watch like I am. That's what I want. Why well, it's important to stand united with the students. We want these students to have a future once they graduate. It's time a rich start paying their fair share of taxes. The budget have to stop being balanced on the backs of the working poor and the middle class. Are we going to stand on those principles and those values? The TW going to stand with workers all around the world. We stand with also workers, not just in the United States. We stand with workers in Greece, in France, around the globe. We stand with workers everywhere. It's I just gave a talk in San Francisco at Grace Cathedral two nights ago where I said the second wind is coming and it has come and it is going to come from the people, we know that. All change is going to come from the people, not from the governments, not from the people with power, it's going to come from us. The time has come for all of us to join our issues and be in solidarity with each other and take back this gorgeous planet so it can be safe and really live in a whole different paradigm. So bravo to everyone.
everybody here. I am so happy to be here mm -hmm. in, in New York. If you are hearing me in New Orleans, or Denver, or St. Louis, or Los Angeles, if you are watching this anywhere in the world, you don't have to come to New York. Start to talk to your friends and neighbors. Uh, wherever you are, start to talk to them. Anyone, young or old, rich or poor, can have the next great idea. Let's start to work with them together. Join us. We're, we're peaceful. We're here waiting to speak about how to move this country forward. We want change, and we know that you do too. So join us. Thank you.